This is the story of a dog named Dinky. He was the cutest little doggy at the neighborhood pet store. We took him home. This Dinky doggy, and he grew and grew and grew and grew. And he isn't a Dinky doggy anymore, no more. And he isn't a Dinky doggy anymore. No, no, Dinky, no. Dinky's birthday, and I want to buy him a new collar. Okay, so he needs a new collar. But did you have to bring this birthday brontosaurus along? Uncle Dudley, don't call sweet little Dinkum's names on his birthday. Besides, Dinky had to come along. He has to be fitted for his new collar. That makes sense, Unc. You wouldn't buy a fan belt for a dirigible without trying it on, would you? Don't pay any attention to them, Dinky. We'll be at the store soon, and Sandy will get you the nicest collar they have. Hey, good morning, Mr. Hammond Hall, sir. Don't just stand there. Open the door. Oh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Mr. Hammond Hall, store manager here. Hammond Hall, this is Vice President Hartzell. It's a red alert, Hammond Hall. I've just been informed that Mr. Mudley, the store owner, is going to pay us a surprise visit. Mr. Mudley is very, very eccentric, so no matter how bizarre or strange his behavior, you are to humor Mr. Mudley at all times. That is all. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you can count on me, sir. I run a very dignified, quiet store, and... I don't care whose birthday it is. You can't come in here. What in blazes? No customers allowed with dogs. So take that monster Mudley and scram. Don't let him insult Dinky like that, Uncle Dudley. Mudley? Did she say Mudley? Oh, it must be the owner. Who else but an eccentric would bring that, uh, that beast to our store? You heard me. Get that grizzly bear out of here and... Uh, pay no attention to this, uh, this ex-doorman, sir. Uh, but by all means, come in and bring your mutt. Uh, I mean, uh, pet with you. <laughs> Whoa! That's funny. Where did they go? Excuse me, did you see a man and a big dog go by here? I'm the man, the uh, dog is over there. Oh, look at Dinky. Isn't he cute? Sweet. You're charming. Delightful. Uh, <laughs> your uh, dog is very friendly, Mr. Mudley. Mudley? My name is... Oh, I know your name, sir. Uh, by the way, I'm Mr. Hemminghall, the store manager. Mr. Hemminghall, which way is the pet department? I want to buy Dinky a collar. Buy? Oh, don't be silly. I'll be happy to give you one free of charge. Well, gee, thanks. But first, I insist on giving you all a guided tour of the store. Uh, this way, Mr. Mudley. My name is... Never mind, Unc. No one of he has trouble with name. Right. With the royal treatment we're getting, who cares? As you can see, we have a most complete glassware department. Why, there must be $30,000 worth of crystal alone. Direction $29,000 worth. You dinky, you overgrown, clumsy oaf! We'll pay for the damage, uh, won't you, Unc? Pay? Why, I should pay you for proving that those aisles should be widened. Right, Mr. Mudley? The poor uh, <laughs> dog couldn't help it. Uh, <laughs> think nothing of it. <laughs> we were going to change that display anyway. Wow, he certainly is a nice man. Yeah, I don't understand it. What's that funny noise? Well, how did he get in? Don't worry, Mr. Mudley, I'll personally take care of him. That sign says, hands off. What's the matter, can't you read? I hope you noticed, sir, how efficiently I handle troublemakers. Yes, sir, I run a tight ship. No riffraff allowed. Now, maybe we can continue our tour without interruption. Here we are, nothing but the finest rugs. But of course, you know that, Mr. Mudley. Wall-to-wall -wall shags, oriental rugs, carpets, runners. <laughs> What did he say about runners? 
I guess that must be one. Oh, if he wasn't the owner of this store, I'd throw him and that clumsy canine. Oh, no, not again. Don't you ever learn? We don't allow low-life types in our store. And stay out. Oh, oh. Don't worry, Dinky. Mr. Hemmenhall wouldn't leave you behind. Of course not. Who would think of such a thing? Move to the back of the elevator, please. Are you kidding? I feel like a sardine. And here we have everything from ping pong balls to canoes. Hey, care to work out on the old bag, Mr. Mugley? I used to be quite a boxer in my day. Mr. Muddley, I didn't know Dinky was a boxer. Oh, look, there's that funny little man again. What's he up to this time? <laughs> well, he certainly made himself right at home. By the nerve of that, that person, I'll show him a thing or two. Run, run, run. Not the ladies' dressing rooms. Uh, terribly sorry, ladies. My mistake. I, I didn't. Oh no! Not again! Uh, ladies, my apologies. Oh, no. I, I can explain. Hey, are you all right, Mr. Hemminghall? Gee, what happened? Uh, 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 nothing. Uh, nothing at all. Merely a routine check of the uh, waxed floors. I'd say they passed inspection. <laughs> Groovy! Look at the record! Let's go! Wow! What a great sound! It's even getting to Uncle Dudley! Oh, not the only one! Look at good old Dinky! Oh, you enjoy music, Mr. Mudley? Yeah, my name is... Wait here, I'll be right back! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Mr. Mudley, these just arrived today. I make sure our record department keeps up with all the latest. Oh, oh no! Yeah! Sometimes I wish I was a customer so I could never enter this store again. Well, Mr. Mudley, I hope you've enjoyed our little tour. I know I have. Yeah, it was super. I almost forgot. We came to get Dinky a new collar for his birthday. Mr. Mudley, sir, a pleasure to see you. Oh, it's Vice President Hardsell. Uh, everything's under control, Mr. Hardsell. I've just been showing Mr. Mudley around, and welcome to your store, Mr. Mudley. May I show you anything? Oh, I think I've seen all I need to. That's... that's... Mr. Mudley? Oh, no. Why didn't you tell me who you were? I would have thrown you out instead of him. Well, I tried to. Oh, no. Here he comes. I'm washed up through finished. Congratulations, young man. I like a manager who sticks to the rules and is so courteous to his customers. It's the kind of attitude that made my store a success. I'm promoting you to vice president. Gee, thanks, Mr. Hemenhoff, for all of Dinky's free presents. Whoa, whoa! Think nothing of it, my dear. Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot something. Happy birthday, Dinky! Oh, isn't that just the greatest? Well, aren't you going to blow out the candle, Dinky? Yeah, go ahead, Dinky. If I wasn't a vice president, I'd quit this job. <laughs>